How's it going guys? Butcher's block here again. And so I'm on a bit of a lockwood run on the, at the moment. So I thought I uh, had done all of my uh, 334 series locks, but I had one more hiding. A uh, lovely jacketed one. Um, with their restricted keyway. So I do not have a key for this guy. Uh, this is another outdoor version of the 334 that you can get. So this is the um, 334 Marine. Um, and this is just a uh, 334 uh, B45. Uh, with a stainless short, uh, stainless shackle and a little uh, rain jacket on. He does have a cap that goes on the bottom, but I took it off because it's a bit um, annoying to pick with. All right, and let me just get a swig of the of the hard stuff here. A bit of lemon cordial. All right, so let me just get me a. Uh, the tools together so I'm primarily gonna hopefully only be using my uh, favorite medium to deep hook the Attila and I'm either gonna be used bottom of the keyway or a um, little Z wrench that I've uh, customized a little bit from the Farrah's black flag kit all right I'm gonna go with bottom of the key uh, sorry yeah, I'm going to use bottom of the keyway and I'm going to do it in hand as I want to do of late. Um, how are we going to go here? Alright, we'll try we'll try in hand to begin with. Yeah, if I don't get it, we'll go move to the vice. Alright. So I have um, I have picked this guy, I think, twice, once a while ago, and uh, once a couple of days ago. So, let's give it a go. Haven't had him open yet, though. Alright, click on one. Click on two. Three's binding pretty heavily. Let's leave him alone. Got a bit of a false set going. Clipped off four. Uh, hit four, a bit of a deeper false set, five is binding, no movement, and well, there we go, a bit more movement, well, we got one, two, three, I think there's only five in here, oh, same camera, another click on one, Another click on two. A couple clicks on three. I might have overset him. There we go. I'm going to zip to drop anything that is uh, overset and have a feel of what's binding. All right, one. That was a heavy click. The said wrench is not the best idea for tensioning because I'm hitting him, a, hitting him a bit, and uh, he's moving the core around. All right, let's uh, let's switch over to top of the keyway. And the South Lord uh, Steep Hook. Now, don't like him, let's go back to the tiller.
Ooh, crunch. So that, so they're feeling like they're serrated. Deep, deep pulse set, but they're feeling like they're serrated, like in so many clicks off single, um, single chambers. All right, let's assess where we're at. One, can't really see him, he's behind the tensioner. All right, five, getting some feedback. Lighten up on the tension. Go on, go home. Right. Let's go to four. Three. Two. So. I think number one, he's uh, hiding behind the tension wrench. So, let's change again. Now let's just have a little walk. Oh, and I overset him. Got my false set back. Deeper false set. So I'm getting multiple, multiple clicks. Off the same, same pins. Pretty good false set. Damn, I overset that guy. Couple fell down. Really deep fault set now. All right, let's feel one. Try to see what's going on with him. Not too high, mate. A click on one. Right, let's give them a zip to try and loosen anything we've overset. Alright, let's go from the back. Oh boy, there's like three clicks. I'm just going to click everywhere. Alright, one's binding. Try and just have a look at them. Alright, one fill set. Two, that's good. Let's get a, uh, let's get someone different in there. Maybe a higher reach. Everyone's still binding though. Like I, I zipped through to see, you know, who needs to be picked. Try and find a springy one. Oh, 
Thank you. Easy. Jeez, that was five. He was hiding all the way in the back. All right. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Well, newbish me, I thought it was a five pen. A master pin on it. And so did that one. Jeez. Well, no wonder it felt like it was all serrated. Like they were they had serrated pins in them. Of course, it's um, got one or two master pins. Easy. Oh, sorry, been out of frame. Okay, so, yeah, let me just adjust. All right, so it's all got these standard asset spools. And then, chamber one has uh, all standard key pins. It has two thirty thousandths master pin, two has one thirty thousandth, three has uh, three thirty thousandths, and one sixty thousandth, uh, four has two thirty thousandths, five has one thirty one sixty, and six has one thirty one sixty. Now, what the hell is going on there? Um, I've seen master pinning before, but this is uh, ridiculous. Um, if anyone knows, like, is this just a mistake or someone um, bodging it up or what? I 
cannot imagine that you need this many master pins. Wow. Oh, double wow. It's video has gone on way too long. Um, well, okay, Dexter, last words to you, mate. Mm -hmm.